Hello everybody. Hello again. How are you? Are you okay? Now we are going to speak again about matter. We are in unit 9, lesson 3. Matter is everything. So, it's a story that matter is everything around us. We know that. We know that matter is everything that surrounds us. So, We have learned that all matters take up space, and taking the space means it has a volume, yes. And of course it has a mass, and mass is the amount of matter in an object, yes. And that means is it heavy or light, is it easy to move or hard to move, this is depending on, this is for mass. What about volume? As we said before, volume is how much space an object takes up. Okay, for today's lesson is about volume and how can we measure volume. So again, volume is how much space an object takes up. Now let's know how mass and volume are different. Okay, volume is like a little bit size. It is thing is big or small. Does it take a lot of space or a small place space but mass is more like weight is it heavy or light can I e move it easily or it takes me a lot of time and a lot of efforts okay let's compare between these two things the sponge and this is something I think it's called fossils yes two fossils and they think according to this pan balance we are measuring now the mass yes I think that this is small two pieces are equal to this big pieces in mass. So both of them are the same in mass. But what about volume? What about the space that they talk? I think this one has less volume, but the sponge takes bigger space or more space so it is, has more volume. So, the sponge has same mass but different. Now I have these two cans and I think that it's obvious that they have the same space. So they have the same volume. Are you agree or not? Yes, same space, same space, same volume, same volume. What about the uh, mass? So let's bring them a band balance again. Yes, oh, this red can is more weight than this. So this one weighs more, and the mass of this red one is more than this. But for the volume, they are the same. They take up the same space. Now I can differentiate between mass and volume. So let's see, how can I measure the volume? Again, to back to the volume, the volume is the amount of space that is an object takes up. How can I measure it? So, I have two ways, I have more than two ways even to measure the volume. But first of all, let's remember that we have three states of matter, which is solid, gas, and liquid. And of course, all of them take space. Even the gas we can see, but it has space. Scientists used cubed meter for the stand size. How much space? What is the volume? For me, I have two ways. If it is hard thing or if it is solid, I have something. I measure it with the cubic centimeter or cubic meter. Like this. If I have a cube like this, and I want to see the volume of this, the space that it takes. So I can easily say that I have here the width. This is the width here from here to here. And this is the height. Yes. And this is the length. I can multiply all of them together one meter and one meter multiply one meter equal it will be one cubic meter 
one cubic meter so I can do it like that and it is not important for me because I'm not, I'm not taking better on math or something like that uh, but you have to know that is the main unit of it is cubic centimeter and some units of it is cubic meter so this is for solid what if I wanna go to measure liquid yes something like this how can I measure it with the cubic meter now I have another way which is yes what is this graduated slender I can measure it by graduated slender and the unit noun will not be cubic meter or cubic centimeter it will be milliliter milliliter is uh, the main unit of how to measure the volume of the liquid okay now what is the volume of the blue liquid here can you see it is 10 milliliter okay now can you see it it is 46 milliliter yeah it is easy to measure the liquid than the solid isn't it yeah but I will tell you a secret that every cubic milliliter every cubic centimeter equal milliliter yes they are the same but this is for liquid and this is for salt so what is the volume of the blue liquid here it is 30 milliliter because it's liquid if the salt of course it will be cubic centimeter so thank you for this I don't need a lot about how to measure it I need the unit itself so please open with me page uh, 355 56 thank you now matter makes up space takes up space we said that and we said the amount of space that it takes equal volume so an object volume is is highlight with me please is the amount of space it takes up yes to find the volume of the cube or the rectangle we can multiply length width and height multiply them together and it will give you the volume this is for the solid and it is not important at all the most important thing that you know that volume is the amount of space it takes up so Let's see here to let's try to measure. Here is the uh, length. Sorry, the height, and here is the length, and here is the width. So it is two multiply two multiply two equal two times two four four times two. It is eight eight cubic centimeter, and the unit is cubic centimeter. Can you circle it with me? Yes. What about this for solid, of course? Every one of these is one cubic, so we have eight of them. Eight cubic centimeter. Let's see how can to measure the liquid. Use graduated cylinder. Now I will use graduated cylinder. Before that, I use the ruler. Here I use to, the ruler to measure this and this and this and after that multiply all of them together but now I will measure this one the liquid with using graduated cylinder and this is amazing nothing difficult for it I only look to the graduated cylinder and see here it is how much is that okay let's see did you circle graduated cylinder to measure the volume of liquid and the unit of course is milliliters you can also use to find volume of solid 
It's linked is that I can use the graduate cylinder to use to find the volume of solid. How could it be? It is easy. I will fill this with water till like 60 and then put the solid thing inside it. The difference between the two uh, measurements will be the solid one. So let's do it. Let's read the level here. It will be 61. 60 say this 60 now I put the shell and this one become 68 yeah so the water plus shell equal 68 so can I find the shell alone now yes it will be 68 minus 60 equal 8 so the shell will be 8 now cubic centimeter or milliliter it is solid so I will then it would be milliliter or cubic centimeter yes it is cubic centimeter it is 8 cubic centimeter thank you for listening and I hope it is easy it doesn't need any effort or something like that the most important thing is the definition and the two units of of them that is cubic centimeter and milliliter for liquids thanks a lot for listening i hope that you enjoyed the video and i hope that you will get you the bed goodbye